Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Here I am. It's Audrey from Audrey Live. Um, it's been a while, and I'm just going to kind of sit tight for a couple of minutes till things start working to make sure that everything's working here properly and we get shared properly. Um, yeah, Audrey DeYoung here on Audrey Live. Uh, so glad that you're able to join us, and our live guest today is Debbie Cotton. Uh, we're really excited. We've had Daddy, Debbie with us before, and she always has some amazing things to show us. Um, yeah, it's January 13th, 2022. Hard to imagine. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to everybody, and hope you're having a great January. Uh, we here, I'm near London, Ontario, and we've got a little bit of snow on the ground, but it's warming up uh, today, and things are melting a bit, so... So that's kind of great. The kids like to uh, have been out tobogganing and skating and uh, enjoying the weather. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just a great day out there today. So uh, thank you for joining us and thank you for everybody for uh, coming on board here. I'm just going to check to make sure that we're live here. Uh, let's see. I know we're live, but I'm just trying to look to make sure that we're coming on the uh, Facebook there. So uh, make sure that while you're watching us today that you say hi and tell us where you're from. Uh, we like to see where people are from and, and what they're doing and, uh, you know, what kind of projects you're working on or painting projects and things like that. Uh, we This whole show is about sharing and caring and uh, communicating. We have been um, doing the show now for, I think it was about a year and a half. Um, I stopped in August um, doing the show, just taking a little bit of a break. Um, uh, as many of you know, uh, last year, my uh, grandson, five-year-old Micah, on June 8th was diagnosed uh, with the brain tumor. And uh, it was just, it was a very difficult, I mean, it was a difficult year, certainly for everybody. Um, our family just had lots going on. It was a very difficult year. So I just needed to take some time off. Um, anyway, he was diagnosed with a brain tumor, Micah, and uh, had surgery the next week. Uh, went through radiation treatments here in London, uh, then went to Toronto for rehabilitation, and then back to London for chemotherapy. Uh, he also um, got what they call posterior fossa syndrome, which I guess affects 25% of uh, cancer patients that are brain tumor patients like Micah, um, which added just more difficulty to everything because uh, it basically made him uh, paralyzed um, and he just had to relearn everything. So basically spent seven months in the hospital, got out of the hospital just before Christmas, and has been out ever since. And it's just been wonderful to see him progressing. Uh, still has a long way to go and rehabilitation with his walking and talking and just day-to-day uh, -day activities. But uh, he's doing quite well. And we certainly seeing that old Micah come back and enjoy time with him. Um, also, as many of you know, uh, that same week, uh, two days later, my father passed away of a massive heart attack and um, just was, a huge shock he was a very healthy man and um just um just making lunch and and uh he just fell on the ground uh he did have heart issues when he was 55 but really had no other medical issues since so this year has been you know adjusting things uh, for myself and for our family and for my mom um we love having her. she loves coming up here so she certainly comes up here quite a bit and spends time with the family and spending time with the grandkids. She loves to do that and the great grandkids. So um, that's just a quick little update on what's going on here. Uh, we are in a, a better place um, now and uh, you know, not dealing with so many hospital um, issues and hospital visits, but still you know, working our way through it. So hopefully uh, that'll update some of you that uh, knew of the situation that we had here. Um, some great things that are happening in the uh, world of uh, creative art. Uh, there's just so many live things going on. I mean, since August, since I've been on Audrey Live or off Audrey Live, I should say, I just see there's so many live things. And um, I'm just not quite sure 
when is the best time for me to have Audrey live? So I would love for some of you to kind of comment because I know if you're there's other weekly live Facebook or YouTube things going on that you are really enjoying, uh, maybe it's uh, time for me to change my date uh, to a, a different day of the week. I think Thursdays does seem to be kind of heavy with lots of lives out there. So just make sure you comment and let me know uh, what you're doing, what days you're watching lives or that you have scheduled things on your calendar that you are part of on Facebook or YouTube. Um, besides, I mean, I know everybody takes classes and things like that, but I know, for instance, Plaid does a, a lunch and learn. And uh, there's a few other artists out there that do every week or every other week that they do uh, a live. So just kind of let me know that. And then I, I can maybe adjust my time uh, so that it works better for you because I want it to be better for everybody. Um, also, since um, our whole world has changed a bit, uh, we are still continuing with our Art Waves live shows. Uh, we've done two so far. We did a spring show last year and a fall show, and we again are doing an Art Waves live spring show. Uh, it will be April 26th to May 1st, 2022, uh, and it'll be online through Zoom. And um, yeah, it's going to be really exciting. We just keep uh, finding more things to do and, and to make it better for everybody. We'll be doing a kickoff party on the Tuesday night where we'll have a couple of demonstrations and possibly a, uh, um, you know, a make and take that you can paint along with the artist. Uh, also that Tuesday night, Debbie Cotton will be doing a special event called Tree of Life, which is absolutely amazing she'll be showing it to you today you'll definitely want to sign up for that class it'll be fun and and just an amazing design um we have some fabulous fabulous teachers uh teaching for us this year of course we have debbie cotton we have pam Cayley, we have debbie Ekmere, we have wendy fay uh jilly bean jilly bean fitz henry liz garcia kathy hansen uh pamela kearns lana lamb anita moran uh, Marie Nays, Anna Marie Oak, uh, Linda O'Connell, Gay Stubbs, and Sally Towers Siblis. So just some really fantastic classes. I'm, I'm so excited. There's so many that I want to take. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, take a look on our website, www.c2cevents.com. And on the top, you'll see there's a bunch of tabs. And it'll say Art Waves Live Spring Show. Just click on that. Uh, the registration sheet's there. The catalog's there. There's a, a link for an online registration. So it just kind of works you right through it and, and does it online. So we're trying to make it as easy and simple as possible. And, of course, if you have any questions or if you're just not quite sure, just give me a ringy dingy on the phone and we can definitely still do it uh, the old fashioned way just over the phone or just email me the registration or mail it to me as well. So there's lots and lots of ways to register. Uh, we just want to make it as easy as possible for you. Uh, all prices are in Canadian funds. So for you U.S. gals out there uh, or U.S. people, I shouldn't just say gals, sorry. Um, just keep in mind that the uh, exchange rate, um, so basically I believe the $89 register fee Canadian works out to like maybe $70 US so just keep that in mind too that the fees uh, that you're seeing will be less in your US funds and that'll just be converted uh, when we process the registration so uh, let me see some benefits of online classes of course um, they help maintain a personal connection between you and the teacher uh, students can attend classes from anywhere the internet is available so wherever you are there's internet you can take classes uh, it gives you plenty of options to stay in touch with the teachers and students before and after the show we have a private facebook group that once you are uh, registered for a show you are just part of that group and can always see what's going on um, within our art waves live uh, private facebook group of course there's no cost of hotel or travel or food or that sort of thing. Um, you can just stay right in your own home. So it's a, a more comfortable learning environment. You can make a coffee, a cup of tea, keep your jammies on, and just sit on down and enjoy the classes. Um, more interaction and greater ability to concentrate. We find a lot of the students actually say that they get more out of the classes because they almost feel like they're having a one-on-one -on -one with the teacher because, of course, when you're in a 
larger classroom environments, sure, I mean, there's so many positive things about being in person as well. I'm not ever going to, to say that that's uh, not a great option. But when you're online and taking classes, uh, you are there with the teacher. It's you and the teacher. You're seeing everything she's doing one-on-one. Um, -on -one, and uh, it's like we say, you get that front row seat every time. So you, you don't miss a step. And if you do, you just kind of ask the teacher to, to redo that step. So, so that's kind of a neat neat uh, thing as well. So, so we hope you take the opportunity. We do have limits in the classes. So um, make sure that you take a look at the catalog and uh, register as soon as possible. Over the next four months or three months from now till the showtime in April, we will be highlighting all of our teachers. So every other week when we have Audrey live, we will have our teachers on and they will be showing you uh, the projects that they'll be teaching and maybe some sneak peek things that will be happening or, or what you'll be learning from the class. So that's kind of a great opportunity to, to see what is going to be, um, you know, if you're not sure which class you want to take, then just really tune in and you can uh, continue to see what's going to be happening. Um, so before we continue, or before I continue with other things, I think we're going to get right to Debbie Cotton, uh, our live guest today. Uh, let's see, let's bring her in. Where are you, Debbie? Uh, let's see. Ah, there we are. I'm going to bring her right in. <laughs> so anyway, Debbie Cotton, we are so excited to have her here with us today. She is from Caesarea, Ontario, which is about one hour from Toronto. Hi, Debbie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie has a natural ability to paint and design and offer lessons that feature a lar large variety of subject matter, such as animals, vintage style trucks, tractors, floral, mixed media, abstract and much more you're just so versatile there's just so nothing you can't do i'll say that for sure and everything well, <laughs> everything you do is always amazing so uh she is a proud member of the deco art americana helping artist program and ambassador for royal brushes there you go she's got her her apron on there and you can find her e-packets favorite brushes surfaces and upcoming zoom classes on her website which she has right there www.simply-cotton.com welcome welcome hi thanks for having me yeah, well, we're <laughs> excited, excited to be to, here today <laughs> yeah to kick off the audrey live shows again and we thought what better way to to highlight all the the teachers and educators that will be teaching at the art wave show and you're going to be kicking it off so best to start right with you so well thank you yeah it's a lot of great classes for sure. Are. Yeah, yeah, we have some teachers that haven't taught for a while and they're so excited to be back and and many that have been with us for many, many years. So it, it'll be it'll just be a great show. We're looking forward to it. So yeah. uh, just like so many others, of course, 2021 has been difficult for everybody and we're trying to make the best of things. So but if you look at it, what was maybe the best thing that happened to you over the last year that you can say? So quite a bit, I think. Um, I can, it's hard to just answer that and put it into one thing. Uh, I feel like with the Zoom and the Facebook Live and all this stuff that we're doing now is really putting us out there um, that we, you know, maybe didn't have the time, obviously, to do before. So it's allowed me to do things like totally improve my website, which is awesome. I'm so happy about that. Um, I recently opened up an Etsy account, so I sell my paintings off of Etsy, which is awesome because I have an overload of paintings. It's like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes when I look at my studio, it's like, oh, how did I accumulate all these paintings? So um, that's really cool. Um, but from putting myself out there, I've had people reach out to me. Um, so like Painting World Magazine has asked me to submit some more designs. Um, I was just recently a featured artist in Bella Crafts magazine, and they see my stuff online. So that was really cool. Um, what else? Oh, just recently, actually, too. Very recently. Um, so maybe it's not 21, but that's okay. 
um, from, again, somebody seeing my stuff online, because I like to post into your decorating stuff as well. Yeah. Um, so somebody reached out to me, and I just went and did a, an interior design consultation, which was really super cool. Uh, it was a farmhouse, and I was kind of like, okay, I wonder if I can do this, right? It's a challenge. Everything's a challenge. Doing all this Facebook Live and, you know, streaming and everything has been a challenge. But uh, I went and actually my husband went with me because he's the handyman and I thought it went really, really well. I was feeling like I gave them a lot of good information and everything. So we'll see what happens with that. Oh, and then um, what else? Pro oh, I know another thing that's really cool and it may not happen um, till this year. It's supposed to actually, they're supposed to get in touch with me again, but um, back to the interior design somebody seen my, my like our house and the design they know how much I like that anyways um, it's a magazine for models and they they're like across the world and they asked about coming out here to do a photo shoot so I like how cool would that be right to have our house featured in a magazine so that's really exciting and then probably the last thing because um, I could go on and on but um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I was, somebody else reached out to me about doing illustrations for a children's book. Oh. So, and that's like another challenge because, um, it's like, it's for kids. So I actually pulled, um, my first painting out. So, um, when they approached me and everything, I said, you're okay. So send me pictures of it's, it's a brother and a sister from when they were young, and so like a whole story kind of goes from there for a children's book. So I said, send me some pictures of you and your brother and I'll do a couple quick sketches and kind of see what you think. And, and then I met the lady and I actually fell in love with her. She's just a doll and just so inspired by life. And so I was like, yes, I have to, I have to do this challenge. So um, I'll hold this up. Oh, it's that's adorable. So this is like the first chapter get it up there so you can see it so um she's a superhero in the first chapter for her brother so um it's got like the little shazam stuff around it and and she i put her in the superhero costume and like you know me this is you don't see this kind of stuff from me so uh it took a bit my husband actually made a comment are you still working on that first painting because i have like 12 to do <laughs> and i was like yeah i know and i said but like this was getting the characters down and like she said strawberry blonde hair for her and green eyes and so it's kind of you know so hopefully i get a little quicker because that's due in march so um that's if you true. don't and see I think, me you know, once you have that first one done i think you'll do fine like you kind of put yeah in there right yeah so i've done a few sketches i'm really excited about the second one there's a turtle in it and the kids and they're in a pool and it's oh. it's it's kind of neat so um and if if it all goes well she wants to stay with the same artist so her second book i think will be easier because it's about three dogs and I'm, I was like, okay, I wish we could do the dogs almost first, because how cute would that be to do some, you know, animated dogs. But anyway, so yeah, so that's probably the big, the big thing. But well, congratulations. That's amazing. Yeah. Thanks. Very yeah. Good. And that's the thing. You don't know what doors are going to open for you. Right. And this yeah. year, the last two years certainly has been that way for many people that, you know, because you're on Facebook or you, you're just out there with so many different things happening. So that's mm -hmm. fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. So fun. Always something, right? Always something. Yeah. Yeah. And now within the say painting industry, is there anything that, you know, is there any new products out there or new things that are kind of, kind of right there for people to start getting interested in or. So probably the big thing for me, um, I'm a big, um, deco art traditions uh, lover but I, I'm actually I, my favorite is their traditions um, paints because the pigment is just so good um, really you know nice creamy consistency and um, good quality when I paint um, like I like oils and I like watercolors but I feel like it's safe to say that when I paint with acrylics because that's my main medium I can treat them like oils which you'll see in the demo 
Um, but then something like the cartoons that I just did, like I was using them more for a watercolor. So um, they did put them in tubes and I'm, I'm actually part of the helping artist program along with the traditions um, for consulting and stuff. And I was super excited when they, they put them into the tubes because yeah. I'm like, yes, it's a premium paint. It needs to get out there and people need to know the good quality of it. But then now that we're from home painting and Zoom classes and everything, they're actually um, due to different reasons, but they are putting them back into the two ounce containers. And I'm actually very excited about that because I think it will be easier for people to get, um, especially for shipping. It won't be so expensive. There's smaller bottles and, and that. So that's probably um, a big thing for me to see. Yeah. Oh, good, good. Huh. Awesome. Well, let's get to some of your Art Waves classes. Maybe I'm going to pin okay. you and then you can show them the classes and then we'll um, or show them the pieces that you're going to be teaching and then we'll get right to the demo. So here okay. we go. I'm going to switch cameras so that um, you guys can see my paintings a little bit easier too. So am I pinned now? Because I still see you, Audrey. No, nope, you're pinned. Fine, but you. yeah, 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 okay. I'll just change my view then. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, I see you. <laughs> well, I'm going on. Yep, no, you're okay. Okay. I still see both of us, but that's okay. Um, I can actually, I'll put it over on my Logitech. There we go. So here's the first one. Um, let me see if I can just zoom out just a tiny bit more. I probably should have brought my, my um, camera up a little bit, but that's okay. I'll just move it around a little bit. Da, da, da. Bear with me for one sec. There we go. Okay, so this one, um, I have to say with COVID and all the... <laughs> the sort of not so good right now in the world. Um, family has, I feel like it's really brought us together. And um, because who do we get to hang out with the most now, but our family. <laughs> so, and and that's good, right? It's, it's great. So this one was very family inspired. This is the, the paint night kickoff. So I encourage everybody to, you know, join in, bring, bring along a glass of wine and have some fun. Um, love the saying on this, love that it's very whimsical. With my classes, um, I am, when you sign up, you get uh, with your registration, you get your e-packet. I'm doing short videos on how to prepare your background and I'm offering the paint kits. So I actually just, it took me a little bit um, to find them, but I, I've got the stencil on hand. I've ordered in a bunch uh, for that are used in the background. So there's a stencil, there's a little bit of modeling paste and it just really brings this piece together. It's only a three hour class, so it'll be nice and fun to do. And I, I chose this color palette because I thought it's, you know, it's very pleasing and, and probably a lot of people sort of have some of these colors in at home in their home decor, but it would, could be easily changed up to, I mean, any type of color palette, like especially if you like the blacks and, and the whites and the grays, you could do it in the blacks and the grays and add a little splash of red or, or whatever. So, um, you know, lots, lots to do with this one. Looking forward to teaching it. I put in a couple little butterflies and um, just think it's, it's a lot of fun to paint. Uh, my second class, I'll probably have to zoom in a little bit is this one. So this is my rustic flare. And it's actually, it's kind of fun to see how um, you mentioned, Audrey, how different my pieces are. And so this one was inspired by the copper pot, which we have. Um, and when I, when I started it, I actually, I was going to kind of start with the grays because I don't know a lot of grays and whites, but then I was like, no, Deb, you've been doing that color palette for a little bit. It's time to change it up. And, and you kind of go with what's in sometimes and like the earthy tones are in so much. So I actually was super happy with the results of this one with, you know, a little bit of the, the greens and the browns and some of the earth tones. So thought it was um, really pretty, so much fun to paint four hour class but again you get 
the video on how to prep your background. And then we paint together in class. And then this one, I'll probably have to, yeah, I'll put it this way. It's actually, you can, you can hang it this way. Either way, um, kind of nice, but so I, I like the, the surface, the rectangular surface on this. This one is all about the texture and colors and, and how the, the paint just really adheres to the texture and um, creates all these really unique, fun results. So this one's called uh, Wild Rose because I thought that was kind of fitting. But yeah, so those are my, my three pieces that I'll be teaching. So I hope you guys can join me. And then um, I'm going to get this one back out. When Audrey asked if I would do a little demo, I thought, well, I might as well choose one of these pieces. But I'm just going to give you guys a little sneak preview because if I give away too much, you're not going to sign up for my class. So um, I thought it would be nice just to show a little bit on how to paint the pot. This is only the first stages. Um, a lot of you guys, if you've painted with me, I like to paint wet on wet. And so that is kind of like oil painting while I'm talking, I'm just adjusting my light. So if you see some shadows, that's why. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna, um, well, if you sign up for this class, it's you get your background uh, video, so you know how to get that on, and, and then we add a little bit to it. But I just thought it'd be fun to show you the first stage of preparing your pot. So if you painted your pot one solid color, then it would take quite a, a bit to turn around and add some shines and some shadows and tints and uh, you know, really kind of bring it to life. So to me, if you paint and blend wet on wet, then you, you really get instant results. And this is only the first stage of the painting. So once you get your colors on wet on wet, you'll see it gives us a nice little base to start with. And then we turn around and, and we add more. So um, I've got a nice little color palette out. I've got a little bit of a warm gray, some charcoal grays, a little bit of brown and into the black. So we will actually be doing this in class on Zoom. So I'm using a filbert. I'm, I just picked up a little bit of water in my brush just to get my paint to move. And I'm going to start with my light color. And this is so blending wet on wet isn't always about using water. It's just blending while your paint is wet. So because you need your paint wet, you can just work in little sections at a time. So there's a nice little start with my first amount of color. Get it around here, try to get my the shape of my pot on really nice. Then I'll just pinch wipe my brush and I'll work into my next color. And I lay my paint a little bit away from that as opposed to putting it right beside it. And then as I pull my paint, it's easier to blend into my light color. So if I was doing like a really large canvas, I could use an extender blending medium that would keep my paints open a little bit longer. But I always, um, if it's a small piece, I always say water is our friend in acrylic painting. It allows us to blend our colors. If we get our paint on and we don't like it. A little bit of water, as long as it's still wet, we'll just remove it. So the one thing with acrylics is once they, they're, they're awesome, but once they start to set up, 
you're better off leaving them alone, letting them dry, and then going back and adding more. So look how cool that is already. And then while it's wet, I can go in and deepen. So this is just a copper pot that I, I actually have some winter greenery in it outside. And I just thought it would make a really cool painting. So I'm just working in between my colors. It's really cool how that really blends in so nicely. Thanks, yeah, it makes it so easy, right? Because if we painted this one solid color, that would just be quite a bit harder to go in and add to it. And because it's, it's rustic, it doesn't have to be perfectly blended. I'm just yeah. using a dirty brush as I paint. I was just going to say, Barbara Jones is asking if you're using a tube acrylic. So maybe she missed the first part. If you can just tell them what type of paint you're using. So these are the decor traditions. Um, in the e-packet, I do have the conversion for the Americana paints. But also, if you register for the class, I... Once I send you everything, I send a supply kit and I am offering the paints in little um, paint pots that you can order and use for the class. So I just quickly cleaned out my brush because I felt like it was just starting to get a little too dirty. So back to that gray, nice warm gray, and then work into my darks. One thing about painting rusty things, it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> and again, this is just the first stage. So once this is dry, if you take the class with me, <laughs> then you learn how to finish it. So some people get afraid of this technique, but honestly, once, once you start to paint this way, it just makes things so much fun. And it's very easy. I always say to people, if you're struggling with this technique, Usually it's because you've put on too much paint. So notice that I've just been putting on little bits of paint at a time. And I know under this, um, you know, under the camera online, it's probably looking like it's really streaky and maybe not so nice, but it's actually an amazing start to creating the pot. So I'm not sure if I can do this or not. Um, oh, I say water is our friend with acrylic paints. I don't know if this is setting up a little too much, but if it was over, you know, too streaky for you, you can just take a clean brush with a tiny little bit of water. It might not work because my paints are setting up, but just so you get the idea, it is a little, you can take a little bit of water brush it over. I think this side's a little too dry. And I'm just working on like a little canvas sketch pad. But a little bit of water over top, as long as it's still wet, just helps you to soften and blend out those colors. So as I work up, I would change to a smaller brush and, um, you know, turn my piece and 
pain in my rims and and stuff but I thought that this might be sort of a good fun thing to show you guys and I hope you've enjoyed it I'll get my original back out here so you can see I'm not sure if I can get them out side by side I like to do that a lot the vulve, the, yeah ta-da <laughs> yeah it just I don't know here we'll just zoom out a little bit more there so you can see how that is you know such a really awesome good start and then once we add on uh everything else then it just makes for a nice old rusty copper pot very nice that's amazing that is a real great sneak peek and gives people some great ideas of uh what they can be learning in the class <laughs> yeah 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 so you, you have to take the class so that you can uh, finish it with me I'll just change cameras here. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, and Barbara, I see that you've also asked how you sign up for the class. Uh, you can just go to www.c2c events, and we'll make sure that we post that on there as well. Um, and you, uh, right along the top, it says Art Waves Live Spring Show, and everything's there. The catalog's there, the registration sheet's there. So you can do it the old fashioned way, just fill out the registration sheet and send it in. Uh, and there is also an online registration. You just click that tab and it'll just uh, go to online, and then you can just click all the classes that you want to take. So uh, Debbie has three classes. Maybe you can just quickly show the three pieces that you'll be teaching again, Debbie, so they can, for those that have come in a little bit. Sure. Later. Do you want me to change cameras again? Or no, you can just do it right there. I'll I just, can pin just hold you them up so they can see it. So family tree, love this one. Can't say the saying on it because I get teary eyed because <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, yeah. And then my rustic flair. So it's actually kind of funny with this one. Um, the handle was an afterthought because the handle on my original pot is it's kind of wonky. And so I wasn't going to put it on, but then when the painting was done, it was like, yep, yeah, needs, it needs a handle. So, and then uh, wild rose, we all feel a little wild once in a while. So this one is a little wild. It's, it's a fun one to paint. It's just full of color. And so, yeah. So I hope you guys can join me. Perfect. Uh, well, thank you again, Debbie, for joining us today. And if anyone has any questions, um, you can just email me or put it on the post there and I will certainly take a look after the show. So, but uh, make sure you sign up for Debbie's classes. They're going to be amazing. And uh, that special event, I think everybody is probably in the same feeling about the last couple of years, about what family means to them. And it's just such a beautiful piece. So thank, thank you, you again, Debbie, for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me on. It was nice yeah, to see you, you and nice to be back. Good luck. We yeah. look forward to seeing that book. Thanks. Yeah, I'll post it. I'll post Everything it for sure. That, uh, that you're doing, yeah. so. <laughs> All right, take care. Okay, thanks. You too. Bye now. Bye, everybody. There we are. Well, that was wonderful. It's just great to see hands-on right from the instructor, um, the different pieces and what they're teaching and just, you know, a little bit of tidbits about them and, uh, and also our little sneak peek. So you'll definitely want to sign up for those classes. Uh, I'm just going to talk briefly about um, the January blahs. I just had a few things that I had seen because so many people said, oh, it's January. What do you do? How do you get out? And, you know, how do you get through the the winter blues or the January and February blues and being stuck inside all winter for those who don't like to get out, uh, you know, get out in, in the snow and the cold, especially for those who of us who live in those type of areas. I hear all these things and see all these posts, these people down in Florida or where it's nice and warm. And I'm like, oh, I just want to go there. Maybe someday, maybe someday. Uh, yeah, so especially after the last 20 months of being cooped up and that sort of thing. So uh, just some different ideas of what you can be doing. One thing is, is just meeting with friends that are like-minded. You know, I, I've said it before and I'll, I'll say it again. I've got a group of friends that, uh, the BBGs, and we meet once a week. And, uh, you know, sometimes we paint, sometimes we knit, sometimes we crochet, uh, some do diamond art. There's all sorts of things and we share our ideas. And sometimes we just sit and chat and have a coffee. 
And even through the last 20 months, um, we've stayed connected, whether we meet at each other's homes or we've met through Zoom, uh, whatever the comfort level is of, uh, of your friends and family. And it's just a great way, a, a great outlet uh, just to talk to other people and create with other people and get ideas going. It's, it's helped a lot of us through, through difficult times for sure. And, and we just need to be very thankful for that, those friendships that we have. So, so that's one thing that comes straight to my mind and, uh, connecting with family. I know a lot of people have family that live far away, um, and they haven't been able to travel there. So again, just connecting one-on-one -on -one through Facebook through zoom through whatever uh you know it's just a way to to make your day brighter you know i know as soon as sometimes uh you, you know you get on and they see their grandchildren or they see a friend that they haven't seen for a while it just puts a smile smile to your face a little bit of warmthness in your heart so that's just a great way uh some other things exercise this is something i've got to work on um, you know, whether you go out for a walk a couple of times a week and, and, uh, but if you don't like to be out there in the cold or, you know, some days it's kind of slippery out there, um, just doing some exercises inside. I know I've seen a lot on Facebook recently about this dancer size and stuff like that. And I do love to dance. So that's something I might have to try, find something and just, you know, 20 minutes, 20 minutes a day or a couple times a week, just get active. And it just kind of helps you as well. Um, venture outdoors. I mean, they always say fresh air does anybody good. So even if you're just outside for a couple of minutes or, you know, go for a walk or, or just if it's sunny, just sit in a chair and have that sunshine on you for a little bit every day. That, that will certainly help. Make some art. Well, that's something that we definitely all love to do. And uh, I know anytime I'm creative, you, you, you really don't think of anything else. And we've said this time and time again, and I believe so many people feel the same way that, you know, if you're having a down day or if you just don't know what to do, you know, just be creative and it doesn't matter. It could be as simple as coloring. There's so many different coloring sheets and I know my grandkids are here and they're coloring. I just love to sit beside them. Um, I gave my one granddaughter, Daphne, uh, it was like mom and me coloring book. And so there's different levels of coloring. There's the, the one for the child that's a little bit easier. And then there's the one for the parent that's a little bit more difficult. And it's just a lot of fun to do. Uh, she brought it when we were on vacation there uh, in the fall. And then we sat in for a little bit. And I, I didn't want to stop. It was a lot of fun just, just coloring. So lots of things that you can do out there. Um, try a light box. So I've never tried this before, but I know there are light boxes. There are lights. So instead of being in the dark, especially if it's a dark day, to put a light box out. Or I know I've got like a an umbrella light here that I use when we go on live. But it does all of a sudden just brighten your day up, just having that little extra light uh, close by. So uh, seek out some sunshine. Plan something. So just start planning things, you know, just so people, whether it's yourself or family members, say, okay, you know what, in three weeks, let's do this. Or, you know, next month, let's plan on getting together or going for lunch or whatever the situation may be. Uh, planning things, just something for people to look forward to. Um, and stick to a schedule. You know, it doesn't matter what day it is. I still get up at 530 in the morning. Yes, I do get up at 530 in the morning. I teach online, as many of you know. So I teach from 6 till 8 every, every day. And um, it doesn't matter, you know, whether it's just at home here. I still like to not dress up, but you, I'm not wearing my jammies or just a sweatpants or whatever, you know, uh, make things colorful. Uh, it just makes you feel better. So just a few things there. Um, if you can think of anything that you've done or other, other suggestions of how to help other people through their January or winter blues, uh, put it in there. We'll, we'll make sure we get something in our next e newsletter, uh, helpful things. And you know, if you need help, ask for help. Uh, there's never any shame. There's never anything wrong with asking for help. You know, like some of us just, you know, you, you go through a situation and you just need someone to talk to or you need professional help. And that is the right thing to do. Uh, you know, someone to talk to is always uh, necessary in some cases. So, yeah. So there we are. There's my first Audrey Live back. I'm really, uh, this has been great. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, uh, let me know um, time-wise 
if this is a good time for people. I'm wanting, you know, we have we were always Thursday at one o'clock and started this almost two years ago and or a year and a half ago. And at that point in time, there wasn't a lot going on. Now there's a lot of live. So i um, just thinking that possibly we'll move it to a different day just to make it more convenient for people if there's a lot of things going on at this point in time. Uh, we will be back. Uh, our next show is January 27th for now, which is a Thursday again, unless I, I change things up. But of course, we will post that. And our live guests will be Kathy Hansen and Gay Stubbs. And they will both be teaching for us at the Art Waves Live Spring Show. Uh, so again, they will be coming on board with some sneak peeks of, um, of things that they'll be doing at the show and just to get to know them a little bit. So um, yeah, so hopefully put that on your calendar and we will be putting some posts on as well. So just to remind you as we get closer to the show. Well, thank you for watching us. Um, it's just been fabulous um, having you back and being back. Uh, so again, Audrey Live, take care of yourself and take care of each other. And we'll see you in a couple weeks. Take care. Bye-bye.